everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back for a long form makeup tutorial. I know some of you guys have been missing these types of videos, so make sure you give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. And today we're covering cold girl makeup. I did do a short and it was very Americanized, like very pink, and my version of what I imagined cold girl makeup to be. And then I went over to Seoul, I flew to Seoul, South Korea, and I saw a lot of this K-beauty version and I really wanted to try it out myself. You can find all the products that I'm using on the Olive Young Global Mall site, which I'll have linked down below, so you don't have to fly all the way to Seoul to try out these products, but I did and I got to go to to the Olive Young flagship store in Yeongdong. I have lots of new beauty favorites and some favorite new techniques as well, so let's get started with skin. Can't have a K-Beauty inspired video without at least one skincare product. The Beauty of Josen Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 Plus is a very popular sunscreen, super moisturizing and light on the skin without a white cast. Speaking of skincare, this is the Olive Young Beauty Box that is now on sale for $70. You can get all of these amazing products curated by Olive Young, so I'll have more on that later, but after I'm applying some sunscreen, which totally works as a primer, I'm using a really cool product that is also within the beauty box. This is a multi balm, and it's a cute little stick that helps with skin lifting. I'm applying under the eyes, smile lines, along the lids, and this plumps up the surface of the skin and adds some tightness. It says you can even use this on neck wrinkles, the Espoir Pro Taylor B Velvet Cover Cushion has high coverage but really light texture. It's matte but not dry looking and it's super long lasting. The shade I have is 23 beige and it is neutral but a bit on the yellow side so it's perfect because I'm going to cover up some of the pink in my skin. I am going for a coral look today so I really want to cancel out any pink in my skin. And I mentioned before that I did another version of Cold Girl Makeup and I have neutral skin tone, so if you have a cool skin tone, I'd recommend going with a cool pink, rose, or berry in terms of the color you're gonna pick. Or if you have warm toned skin, so more of a yellow undertone, then a coral or orange would look really nice. Very high coverage, so I didn't need to go in with concealer, but one of my favorite premium brands that I've tried is Jung Samul. Very airy, more like a second skin finish than high coverage. Cold Girl makeup is very fresh and flushed, but I do like to mattify the center of my face. I have some broken pores on my cheeks, so it kind of smooths them out. My favorite powders are translucent, and this is the Espoir Fresh Setting Powder. Takes away any unnecessary oil, but doesn't create a mask. A difference I noticed with K-Beauty is there's a lot less bronzer and contouring. It's very natural, especially through the cheekbones. But when I did my American version, I really strongly contoured my cheekbones, kind of similar to Lily Rose Depp, I just enhanced the roundness, and then added a deeper, bolder blush throughout the bottom to really highlight the cheekbones. But with this style of makeup, I'm gonna have it more cute and fresh, and the placement is gonna be up higher near the eyes. This contour, by the way, I just showed it in two different shades. It's by Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodin, and there are three shades that blend together to create a natural gradient effect. Next product is so cute, it's by the brand Kaja, meaning let's go in Korean. And like I said, I'm going for more of a corally orange base look this time. And you stamp the heart onto your cheek, blend it in with your fingers, it gives such a vibrant look. And the way I'm blending it out is like a V shape. Here's a photo that I was inspired by for blush placement. I love on Pinterest, there's so many beauty pictures from Asia that have little diagrams which are really helpful. And then the bottom of the nose as well as above the tip. Quickly filling in my brows with Clio Kill Brow in the shade Grey Brown. Even though I have a warm tone wig on here, I noticed a lot of the time the brows are kept very soft and a bit more cool toned. I'm attempting to keep them straight though I do have some arch to my brow. In comparison to how I usually do makeup, everything's a lot softer with this style. For shadows, this is the Espoir Real Eye Palette. Mainly using this matte peach shade all over the lid and under the eye fading into the blush. I really love the smiling eye effects, but I don't really have the eye shape under my eye to really highlight like a cute underpuff. So I've lightened with a bit of concealer with a matte brown creating a half moon shape under the brightened area to create that illusion. And this brush is from Philly Millie Eye Brush Pro Collection. Five different brushes. This was in my previous K-Beauty video as one of my favorites because I love how small the brushes are. It's great for subtle details. I have a bit of a coal liner on the back of my hand and I'm blending this in the inner corner and then under the bottom lash line in a straight line, leaving a slight space between my upper lid and lower lash line. 
Again, using the Filly Millie brushes, look at how tiny this one is. And I cannot rave about this Lily by Red liquid liner enough. I have the black and the brown, but here I'm using black and creating a very thin line going outwards rather than upwards and connect this about halfway, a little less than halfway. This is a great liner style if you do have hooded eyes. I know mine are a little bit more deep set, but it works on everybody. And I'm adding some cute drawn on lashes. I've literally never messed up with this eyeliner. It has a 0.1 millimeter, very high elasticity um, brush tip, so it's very easy to use. And I didn't want this look to be super over the top. Wanted it wearable, but with added cuteness. So let's move on to the Metal Glitter by Holika Holika. This brings in that cold girl look with the silvery white in the inner corners, brightening up under the eye, and then the center of the lid as well. Instead of using shadow, you could use a brow pencil and a soft gray brown under the eye as well. Highlighting the tip of the nose with glitter, it surprisingly blended out nice for a highlight. I wanted to try the Fairy Drops Scandal Queen Mascara. There's two different types here, one for long lashes and one for volume. So I went with the length and I'm building up my lashes. If you want a smudge proof mascara, definitely trust K-Beauty for that. Another K-Beauty trend that I noticed is spike lashes. I am no pro at putting these on. I actually found it kind of hard. They're like individual lashes, but with one little spike. If you can't find these, you can always use tweezers and clump your lashes together for that wispy look. Moving on to lips, which is a key part of this makeup tutorial. I've prepped my lips this whole time with the adorable Laneige product, but I'm gonna wipe it off and use another super cute heart shape product. Holika Holika Heart Crush Lipstick, the melting formula in the shade Primrose. It reminded me again of these two inspiration photos and I wanted to try a completely different lip shape than I'm used to, smudging the upper part of the lip. And if you wanna do this with a similar texture to this photo on screen, another favorite product I'm obsessed with is the Musigay Maison Liquid Object. This is just the coolest packaging ever and it's my favorite lip product for a mousse texture, but I'm going for more of a watery, glossy look today. To tone it down but still fill in the rest of the lip, using this glowy tint. Now I'm trying to build up a little more gradient. I feel like my lips aren't big enough to have like a really nice canvas to show off the ombre, but I still love the effect and finally a bit of gloss. Not covering my entire lip with this because I don't want to mess up the gradient, but just a dot in the center and I love the blue sparkle. I thought it was really fun to add to the cold girl theme. Let me know if you prefer this version or the first one I did and stay tuned for a sneak peek of the beauty box that I teased earlier. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a headache right now. These earmuffs are killing me. But back to the Olive Young Beauty Box. So this is a new exclusive box that is gonna be launching every month on Olive Young. And if you're like me and you love K-Beauty, but you're not like a skin expert and there's just so much on the market, this is incredible. It's curated by Olive Young. It was $203, but it's going for around $70 US, so 65% off. In the box, again, we have the plumping stick, kombucha packets, the amazing sunscreen I mentioned. I've been trying out some of the skincare as well and this Innisfree Blueberry Cleanser. Oh my gosh, smells like blueberry pie to me. And the last two products have become everyday products. I know it's intense to use a sheet mask every single day, but I love tea tree and the cleansing oil really helps to take makeup off. It's an amazing value and great for those of you who are already skincare junkies or if you're just starting out. There's really something for everybody and I think this is a, an amazing box. Korean skincare is just the best. So I hope you guys will shop if you are interested. Oops, just dropped something. But uh, let me know if you like this look. If you wanna see my whole Korea adventure, I do have a second vlog on my vlog channel and I also go over some of my favorites in an earlier video that I posted also with Olive Young. Hope you'll check it out and I'll see you in my next one.